The U.S. has banned the export of <laughs> RTX 4090s to China as part of their attempts to keep China behind in terms of technological savvy. It doesn't seem to be going that well based on that new Huawei phone that just came out. Have you been paying attention to that? No. So it's supposedly their first completely homegrown fabbed processor that's reasonably modern and yeah it's a little on the slower side compared to what you can get from the likes of qualcomm or apple right now but it's not that bad like it's you know if you think about that they could clearly build guided missiles 10 years ago and you look at this processor on this phone and go well it's a lot faster than phones from 10 years ago yeah it's like if, if the U.S.'s goal is that they're not going to be able to build weaponry or whatever, then I think that that's going great. Uh, the U.S. is increasing... I think it's AI research, but yeah. Well, AI is a big part of it right now, but in general, they're trying to put pressure on China and keep them, uh, keep them behind the U.S. in terms of technological advancement, which I think is... I think that horse is kind of out of the paddock. Is it horses that come out of the paddock? It's something. Something. The horse is bolted. Something, something like that. The barn door is open. Sure. The point is... Cats uh, out of the bag? The U.S. is increasing... Why did you put a cat in a bag? Not not like... What is wrong with you? It's like a, it's like a messenger bag, Was it a at least one, just one cat? And, and the it's open. How many cats did you have so in there? It's just an easier way to carry it. What oh, the there's like fuck? Six. There's like six. Only one of them got out of the bag. The U.S. is increasing export restrictions on advanced AI chips to China, which will also limit exports to countries like Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Vietnam, though China is the primary target of the policy. Companies will now require a special export license to ship NVIDIA a800 and h800 gpus to china there are variants of the a100 and h100 okay, i think there's some typos in here that nvidia modified oh these are the variants of the a100 and h100 that nvidia modified to comply with export restrictions put in place last year so those were intended to keep china from having access to the most advanced ai chips uh, now they're basically going yeah no uh, the old rules left consumer graphics cards untouched, but the new rules also restrict sales of NVIDIA's RTX 4090. Vendors can apply for a special license to sell these GPUs, but it's not clear how likely the government is to grant them. Companies will also be required to inform the U.S. government before selling chips below the restriction threshold. In August 2022, this is a big hit for NVIDIA, NVIDIA disclosed that it anticipated $400 million in quarterly sales, not annual sales, quarterly, quarterly sales from China. <sighs> So there's a couple main discussion points here. You know, one of them is, is this going to do anything? And I, I think I've made my feelings on it pretty clear. In the very, very, very short term, it might slow down some of China's AI progress. Um, I have a potential counter argument to that. But really? Yeah. I, I, you know what? I would love to hear it. So maybe uh, in regards to raw compute power, it will. But I think the policy wrestling that the American companies have to deal with will slow them down just as much or more. Yeah, that's that's probably fair. Also, I am not convinced that we necessarily need a ton more hardware out there in the field to continue to develop AI in a meaningful yeah, way, uh, if that makes sense to you. Like, sure. yes, if you want to build a service that real customers are really using and refine things for, for sure. But at the research level, I'm willing to bet that there are enough RTX whatever the craps in China right and now. And uh, I guarantee you they could poke through that firewall to access remote power if they needed to. Remote resources, I should say, if they needed to. Um, yep. Also, uh, a lot of the models like the what is Llama and all these other ones, they're all open anyways. Like, uh, and, and no, maybe it's not the the... The point of the sword but they're 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 pretty ridiculously good i i don't know i i don't think there's really any holding them back very much i mean personally elijah from our um who's our junior <laughs> writer in the writing department and clearly has some research to do uh asks wouldn't nvidia just make a factory over there or am i ignorant so the restrictions are from the U.S. government on NVIDIA, a U.S. company headquartered in the U.S., that prevent NVIDIA from shipping advanced processors to China. Those processors are actually manufactured in Taiwan, which, depending who you ask, is or isn't 
part of China. Uh, but for the purposes of these regulations, Taiwan, it would not be part of China, which is a really kind of funny thing. It's very interesting. Because the U.S. is stance is sort of like we don't take a position on this by the way Except. nvidia you may not export chips to china that are manufactured in Taiwan. you know what we're not going to take a position on yeah. this um so <sighs> so so the u.s government is sort of within their rights to restrict these exports but also i think this raises some really interesting questions about in general the the barriers that are being put up between international cooperation um where governments are stepping in and especially the u.s government uh governments are stepping in and restricting companies abilities to operate over borders internationally uh i'm honestly not the right person to talk about that there's That's, a lot of yeah there's a lot of geopolitical debates there it's complicated there's there's one people have been talking about for a long time uh that neither of us are you know in the right position to debate too much but there's there's been this kind of assumption for a long time that there can be no real like war because all the countries are too interconnected and rely on each other too much and by closing that door there's some concerns that mm. are far above my understanding, but yeah. In other news, Jon Stewart's Apple TV Plus show, The Problem, has reportedly been canceled prior to its third season following creative differences between Stewart and leadership at Apple over how Stewart wanted to cover artificial intelligence and China. Things are getting complicated. Um Hey, John Stewart, if you want a home on float plane, we're <laughs> yeah, we're we're ready. We're ready for you. I love John Stewart. Guy guy's real. The guy's real. Yeah, what he did for the firefighters was super cool. Yeah, guy the guy's real. 